Nerd out here with the new CSGO Pro Tricks video. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment which trick and or tip you like the most after watching the video. Kicking things off with the leash who knows his angles. The most common angle an opera holds at the start of the round is this angle Fuzi's holding for T's coming up from second mid. The leash comes up middle and peeks him from the left and sees him first and kills him. Before I show any more tricks, here's a word from my sponsor GG Predict. An all-in-one platform for effective and fast training in CSGO. GG Predict is basically a personalized training system that adjusts training units to boost your development and help you reach your esports goals. How does it work? Customized training units are generated daily thanks to GG Predict's powerful analysis of your game and stats. You can then do these training sessions on their servers and training maps and get instant feedback. It has a free trial and super easy to get on board. I recommend you to link your Steam or Face account at the beginning of the registration process so GG Predict can download and analyze your demos in over 500 metrics, which is a lot of meaningful insights that will help you grow as a player. The best players made a 400% improvement in aspects such as aiming or team play. Significant progress is noticeable after just a few days of training. Register via the link in the description and let me know what you think. I don't know if this is common knowledge or not, but I'm going to share it regardless because I didn't know it myself. But if you're on this railing here and want to move over to the next railing without jumping over, you can crouch strafe over to it without falling down, which your leash does here. I apologize in advance if this is known, I am a noob. Naphne in a 1v1 situation versus Alex comes up short and makes a great position play by getting onto the balcony and kills Alex with this off angle. Alex was holding short and was not expecting Naphne to come from balcony. Shush from balcony spams a window above porch and kills automatic with this wall bang. I've never seen the spam done from this position, usually it's done near default on a site. It's super hard to hit this spam as well which luck definitely came at the Shush's side. What's crazy is that the bullets go through both sets of walls to kill automatic. If you're long and need to support your teammates, you could throw a flash at lands above graveyard which automatic does here and it blinds the heroic player's apartment short assisting his teammates for the kills. Next time you're in a piss around and have a low chance to win it on the CT side, which Complexity are in a 2v5 post plant here, think about saving your armor as you go into the next round, being able to force buy a FAMAS. Granted, no head armor, but you do have a rifle give or take because I know a lot of players think the FAMAS is a bad gun. Perfecto throws an alternate flash for top banana while Boomich is sandbags, so instead of throwing the antenna flash, he aims here. When Boomich makes contact, Perfecto will left click throw the flash, which will blind twist. Afterwards, he throws a half wall molly from the same position by aiming here, then left click throw. Electronic from Big Pit with top mid retake nades. He first smokes mid by standing here, then jump throw. Then he mollies towards boiler mid by moving up and crouch walking forward, aiming here and left click throw. Bit from short was going to push up, however, it doesn't do to phase contesting mid with the smoke. Now, Electronic does have flash still, and he could throw this flash after the molly for a bit. You're gonna crouch right here. Aim below this roof, then left click throw. Nine smokes Haycart from second mid. He's gonna crouch onto this dot here. Wild crouch aims above this plant, then left click throw. This smoke gives cover from sight and moto as your teammates come out apartments. Alex has an alternate way to smoke half wall. He stands in front of the barrel, aims at this chimney, runs one step forward, and jump throw. Senpaius throws a banana flash where he's on these steps, aims at the railing here, then runs forward and jump throw. This flash lands deeper covering more of top banana. Movie star riders will use this flash to push through their own half wall smoke, taking control of top banana, killing a blind hobbit. Simple with top banana flashes for an early fast banana take, he's going to stand next to the arrow, aims left of this wood, then left click throw. Here flashes banana from pool, he's going to aim at this part of the first oranges, then jump throw. This flash lands deeper than the one thrown from CT. The flash will blind fast char, setting up iceberg for the kill. Lato with a different variation to molly deep, he stands next to the back window frame, aims at this wall here, then walks one step forward and left click throw. Most commonly you see this molly being thrown at the corner wall where the player will crouch. Tricked are on Eco with two safe weapons from the round prior. They're gonna use the deep top mid smoke at the start of the round and they boost behind it to peak mid where k West gets a kill into Fashar. You see here that Fashar is spraying the smoke in case of the nade stack or boost, however unfortunately for him none of his shots connect. Nine with a super easy way to throw the wrap smoke. He stands in the middle of the door, aims at the crown, then jump throw. 
I haven't seen this lineup before. The more common one is at the mailbox. JTR coach from Nigma Galaxy showing a mid one way smoke. Get in front of porch pillar, aim here, then without moving your mouse, get in front of half wall, then underhand throw. The smoke gives you a one way and punishes the T's that are in boiler and T's that peak or push mid. Lado throws a cat one way smoke similar to Team Spirits. He crouches next to the vehicle, aims here, then stands up and jump throw. The smoke will land in front of the cat jump giving Taco a one way smoke to work with as he makes a jump and then he will reposition himself to the right of the railing where he holds right of the top mid boxes. Unfortunately for Taco he won't get any kills from this position. Here's what the smoke looks like from top mid. Viria also throws a similar smoke. Drop will get into the back corner, aims at the corner of this building, then run throw bind. The smoke bounces off the building towards catwalk and Art jumps out window into cat. Art will find the kill into config who swings to the right of the boxes. I'm not too sure if this smoke is intended to land here or not or if it was misthrown because most of the smokes you've seen thrown in this position will land closer to the jump. Sphinx makes a great play on T roof where he drops down quietly and pushes up and kills Stiko who is jiggle peeking with the smoke. Stiko can't spot if anyone crosses over from roof from this position but he can hear if someone drops but with Sphinx hugging onto the wall when he drops, Stiko won't be able to hear anything and he gets surprised by Sphinx. This is the perfect counter to CT's playing this position. Here's a tip when you're playing dark on CT's side and the T's molly it, you can reposition yourself near the stones where the molly doesn't spread to you which Naf does here, catching Dave Wenchi by surprise as he comes out ramp. Then when the molly ends you can go back into dark if you want. The same position is used by Dets. Team Liquid will molly dark however it's not going to spread to him. Then he repositions dark after the molly ends and at this point Team Liquid most likely think that dark is clear due to the molly so Shox will advance into sight and doesn't clear it. This is gonna set up deaths for a free frag. In my previous trick video, I showed Godsent using this window boost to peek underpass, however no T came underpass. And here I'm showing the same boost in play, but this time around, it's gonna net Godsent a kill. Searson's gonna smoke CT from this position, standing next to this wall. He's gonna aim here, then jump throw. This CT smoke is pretty clutch in the sense that it doesn't leave any gaps as well as takes away most of the one way from ticket that some CT smokes leave. We see here that OC is forced to jump all the way on top of ticket to get a view towards ramp. If you have a safe rifle or a force buy round, think about using this boost underpass to peek into window which Gambit do here with a solo rifle onto Shiro who is boosted by Axel on this ledge here and he gets the kill onto Dumao. Hetrick smokes top connector from T mid, he will position as shown, then he aims here and jump throw. Here's a flash you can throw if the T's are coming out apartments. You could flash above market as you fall back and this flash won't blind you and will blind the T's coming out apps. Keserato smokes jungle from T roof. He stands in front of the wood pillar, aims here between the chimney antenna, then jump throw. Safe flashes ramp standing in front of missiles. He's going to aim here at triple, walks forward and jump throw. Fortunately we don't get to see the flash blind anyone here. Safe smokes palace from ticket. He aims to the right of this door on top of stairs, then runs forward and jump throw. This next trick comes from Gamador, showing a deep apartment smoke from top trash can, aim bottom right of this light, then jump throw. Remember, if you have any cool utility boosts or tricks, you can share them with me by joining my Discord and posting it in the Ideas channel. Here's a one way smoke for Khan, credit to Vilga from Nigma Galaxy. Get behind this wall, aim below this dot, then left click throw. Now you have a one way smoke to either peek catwalk from getting on top of the box or getting on the left ledge and peeking top mid. Rain with a magic molotov from T stairs that travels all the way to divider sandwich. First he smokes front bathroom, then for the molly crouches onto the end of the bottom third step, stands up, aims above this rail, then run throw. FaZe Clan will use Rain's nade set alongside mid flashes to take mid control fast. 
There are other known magic Molotovs on Overpass, but they're not really useful. This one here from Rain definitely can be, as the Molotov prevents any CTs to hold mid stairs from Divider Sandwich, allowing FaZe to make their way out mid early on. Rain at the start of the round will jump off the trash can and strafe jump to Nate T's stairs. The Nate takes away half of Shiro's HP. He does this instead of having to peek stairs to throw the Nate, which at that point he is vulnerable to getting shot at. This isn't a new Nate, and it's been around for about 2 years now when I first saw Mezzi on C9 use it. More recently, I've seen a lot more players use this method. Tessa is showing two ways to jump spot to get info mid. First he jumps close to the wall to spot front bathroom and doesn't spot anyone, which allows him to do the next jump spot which is off the fountain to spot if anyone is divider sandwich, which here he does spot an opper. Farlick does hold the top of this wall because it is commonly used to boost. He does see the jump spot however misses the shot. Bowden Master gets boosted fountain to spot the long boost which he sees a CT holding. He jumps and aligns the scope to be on the head and he gets a wall bang frag onto Nova. This boost should be used more from T's as it gives you good info as well as possibly a frag. Snappy makes a smart play at Graffiti by purposely making jumping noises off of Diha in order to make it look like Ents are boosting. This in turn baits Crims to look towards Graffiti while Madden pushes up short and flanks Crims. 200 IQ play from Ents. Alex from outside Monster near the wall by the shadow scene here, Molly's and Flash's monster thrown in off the bridge. The Molly clears anyone holding close to the right which Madden was holding from and pushes them out of this position. Blame F at the start of the round from Flower smokes barrels at Alley. He aims at the yellow leaf, then jump throw. Astralis will use this smoke to push Monster to take control. Keep in mind that it does leave a gap to right near the fence. Janji has a connector flash from Sandbags. He's gonna aim top right corner of the blue, then jump throw. He follows up with a nade as well. The flash will set up his connector teammate to swing off of it, peeking connector and getting a kill. And Janji also gets a nade frag. Kading at the start of round from Alley smokes B mid sight. He's gonna aim at the light, then jump throw. Heroic will use this smoke to give them cover as they rush out monster. Fang is gonna throw a barrel Molotov from top of the stairs. He's gonna aim as shown here. Then he runs three steps forward and jump throw. If you want to cross into sight from long, you could throw a smoke off this vehicle, which bounces and blooms left of dice, giving you cover to cross from bathroom. Stadodo with a execute nades from long. He smokes jump up standing next to this pole, aims at this part of the wall, then jump throw. Afterwards he gets into the corner to molly truck, aims at this leaf, then runs forward until he hits the bottom of the next set of leaves then left click throw. After mollying short, Craig Hen throws a nade at barrels from top stairs, aligning himself up with the first railing, aims here at short pipe, then runs forward and jump throw. The nade does really good damage onto all attacks at barrels, taking away about 41 HP. Skronk smokes short pipe near the stairs. He stands left railing, aims here, then left click throw. The smoke puts out the CT's short pipe molly. Sango will use the party boost with their safe rifle from the round prior. Usually is used to peek and get a kill onto T stairs. But here we see Sensei look towards playground afterwards and kills KVM coming out. As a T, this is definitely not an angle that you're clearing when advancing. Nickelback has an easy way to molly off default throwing it off the truck. He doesn't need to jump to look for the truck, he can just back up a bit and see it. Unfortunately, the molly comes a little bit too late as the bomb gets planted. Farlick with a super easy way to smoke front bathroom, he is in the playground behind the slide, aim at the tower, then left click throw. NIP are the only team I've seen that are using these pit flashes before having a player clear it, which SE tag from monster throws as res advances and kills a blind naf. You all know about the triple nades for the jump spot and boost from outside monster. Face clan have a variation of the triple nades where instead they'll nade the half wall that's on the bridge, which sometimes teams use to boost. The nades don't connect. I'm not going to show the POVs here, but if you want to see them, I'll post them on my second channel nades out here. Crimbo with an insane con molly where he throws it off the wall here and it bounces top connector and look at the spread of this molly. It covers a lot of positions here. Credit to coach KJ for showing me this. There's a new type of boost out there that Samurai covered which involves two players. The top player has an off and both players jump and at the point of the apex that's when the top player shoots. It is pretty accurate. This could be game breaking seeing an op jump shot boost. I'll link the video below so make sure to go check it out. Shock smokes long A corner from mid. He stands onto the back of the wagon, aims here at the wall, then jump throw. Liquid will use this smoke to take long late round. Shox is able to lurk mid and cut off rotations from this position as well. 
Shox does miss the smoke in this round. He needed to aim a little bit more to the left, which I show here. Matt just boosts the pre CT mid where he uses the boost to peek mid doors and gets the kill into Yakinder. This off angle boost catches Yakinder by surprise. Flit inside the long corner on top of boost will molly blue. He lines himself up with the corner of this green block, aims here at the wood, then jump throw. The molly lands top blue, but its main course of action is to take care of that little box position there. Electronic at the start of the round rushes out long A doors and he gets to blue where he will smoke in molly long A corner. Don't throw this utility site here if a CT cross into pit or are contesting long. Bit throws an alternate mid door hinge smoke where he crouches, aims here to the bottom right of the circle, then right click throw. This smoke gives him time to back up and not get wall banged by the CTs. Skrunk has a defensive one-way smoke for A site. He is on A ramp and aligns himself above this green mark, aims above this spot on the ramp, then left click throw. He flashes and then gets behind the smoke where he has a one-way and kills Kev, and then flashes and goes back and further peaks the angle and kills another player. This smoke can bait the T's to thinking that the CTs threw it to delay the T's from getting onto site which VP commonly throw, and they wait from goose and ramp, but here Skrunk will use this smoke to go on the offensive. Big Clan are retaking B site and taps and throws a retake smoke for tunnels. He stands next to the back tires of the truck, aims at this box, then jump throw. There's two smokes seen here. Taps and smoke is the one that's inside tunnels. I'm not sure whose smoke that is outside of tunnels here. Team Liquid at the start of the round throw a decoy, then a smoke afterwards onto Xbox. Why they throw the decoy first is because CTs on pistol rounds sometimes will push through mid door and try to body block the smoke from landing Xbox. Here the decoy baits Henny to try to block it, however he misses his timing, and then the smoke follows up. Ferlin has an interesting way of throwing the Xbox smoke that lands on the pallet. First he mollies Xbox, then gets behind the suicide boxes, aims as shown, and then jump throw. The smoke uses the molly to land on the pallet. I personally don't like this method because you're wasting a molly to land the smoke. I think a standard Xbox smoke is fine. Bit with an instant Xbox smoke from this spawn here, he aims top right of this mark on the wall, then jump throw. Electronic also with an instant Xbox smoke, however, from a different spawn shown here, aims as shown, then jump throw. Twist rushes upper tunnels, but before doing so, throws a molly outside of tunnels to make it appear that tunnels is mollied off from the sound cue. He pushes into tunnels and kills Bit, then falls back. Granted, Rops push lower, taking the attention off of Twist as well. The Dust 2 Scout T4 Spy or Eco Meta is where teams on T side will sometimes invest in one scout and have that player work the map to see if they can get some picks. And on a map like Dust 2, it's very favorable to do so. While well, FaZe Clan here will invest into two scouts, which Kerrigan finds the opening kill, and Brokey I believe gets three, which will net FaZe this round win. They're also going to do the same tactic later this half, however, it doesn't work out. Asillion has a flash for lobby, but the lineup starts at site main, where he will aim near the E, moves to the vent without moving his mouse, crouches, and then left click throw. This flash will blind anyone in lobby, however unfortunately it's not going to net them a kill in this round. Kadian with a deep back sight Molotov from roof, he stands onto the silo and positions with the end of the line, aims at this part of the window, walks one step forward and jump throw. The molly gets put out by Breeze, but here's what the molly would have looked like had it wasn't. Hauserk smokes double doors from left side ramp. He will throw it off the bomb site silo. This is safer than throwing it from the right doorway in case the CT is holding from double doors. Sampaius has an outside utility set where he smokes main, Molly's credit card, and flashes yard. For the main smoke, back up to the fence, use the blue to touch the heart on the next container behind it, then aim above the wire, run forward, and left click throw. Then move up to this corner, aim at this part of main, and jump throw the Molly. Sampaius will follow it up with a yard flash. Dave one g will also throw a locker smoke to pair it up with this utility set here to take yard control which I'm going to show. For the locker smoke, stand with your back on the fence and use the blue to align yourself up with this black dot on main, then aim as shown and run forward and jump throw. Now you have yourself a nade set to take yard control. Just with a super easy way to smoke heaven from hut, stand left doorway, aim here at the vent, then left click throw. Shush with a super easy way to smoke door from back sight. Put your crosshair on the top left corner of this thing here, then jump throw. 
Madden with a super easy way to smoke door from heaven, aim at this part of light, then left click throw. Simple is in a 1v1 against Farlick who is on A site. Simple inside Trophy fakes footsteps that he is rotating through to lobby and then cuts off his steps and walks back towards heaven. Simple knows that Farlick can hear him from sight, so that's why he does this. When he gets up to heaven, he has an easy kill into Farlick who got bamboozled. Farlick hears Simple rotating from Trophy into lobby and after planting gets on hut and focuses between hut and door thinking Simple will come out one or the other but instead Simple comes out heaven and kills him. I've brought this up before in an older trick video that if you're throwing any smokes that bounces off credit card, you need to be careful because it could leave a gap which Art takes advantage of and gets a kill. Make sure to practice your smokes and check to see if they do leave any gaps. Kesarata rushes outdoor by blowing it up, throwing a lurk smoke, and bouncing a flash off the ground as he rushes through the smoke while his teammates rush hut. I haven't seen anyone do this before. Most of the time the T's are sitting in the smoke and getting flashed out but Keserato full sends it here. His flash will blind Farlick, sending himself up for the frag. Big Clan at the start of the round on CT side boosts mid on the board to see over the box which Searson has a nasty angle to hold and kills Inters who was not expecting this angle at all when he swings the corner. Some teams on their CT sides are now only smoking bottom yellow at the start of the round instead of ramp. One way to deal with this as T's is to have your opera posted on yellow and take advantage of the gaps in yellow, which we see Searson do here, getting the kill into Nafni. I have another clip showing here the same move except from Elian with Astralis only smoking bottom yellow. Elian scopes in and focuses on the yellow gas where he spots and kills Glaive. Searson gets on top of the boards towards the back of ramp where he holds sandbags to where he can spot the CT's head, which he hits a nice shot onto Mopes. Axile with a set lineup for this wall bang through wood onto B main which Fabian gets killed from. This wall bang is intended for anyone peeking from B main to top stairs early on. You can see here Axile's position on the yellow mark on the ground. Shush with a set pre-fire lineup for top double from back corner stairs. He is crouched on the line, aims here at the railing, then stands up and shoots which connects onto Shox's head. Shox has no chance to react to this and gets sent to the shadow realm. Fabin smokes left A site by standing in front of the corner sandbag at ramp, aims here at this beam, then he walks two steps forward and jump underhand throw. Crimbo behind ramp sandbag will molly short and smoke left A site, however he doesn't throw the molly but does throw the smoke, aiming here at yellow then jump throw. Here's what the molly looks like had he thrown it. The problem with this molly is that it does spread into ivy. There are many other short mollies that cover short but leaves ivy open to allow your teammates to push up. The most common way to molly short that I see in pros do is from yellow here where blame aims at this beam then left click throw. As you can see the molly doesn't spread into ivy which allows you to peek short in sight. Favin smokes top stairs from this back corner. He's going to put his crosshair top left of this part of the generator then jump throw. Prime jump spots sandbags and makes contact, he throws the ramp one way smoke from upper ramp. He stands next to this wall here, aims here at yellow then left click throw. The smoke will delay his stag's ramp take as they know it's a one way. He's on with the variation of the bottom yellow smoke, he's in ivy corner, aims corner of this part of the beam then left click throw. He then mollies and kills heap, afterwards flashes yellow before heading down aiming top of this rail then underhand throw. With this smoke you have a one way to peak bottom right of ramp where Kisan kills Lekro and Halzerk. The typical bottom yellow smoke that you usually see being thrown leaves a one way to peak to the right and not towards bottom ramp. Config smokes elevator connector from mid, he crouches behind the board, aims at this part of the wood, then while crouched still run throat bind. He will follow it up with the window molly and mid flash. Shush with two mid flashes for his teammates to push through to team mid at the start of the round. The first flash he throws it from window and this flashes for anyone inside team mid. The second flash he gets onto the board and flashes for anyone holding from outside team mid. Especially for that generated position which blinds Lehman, assisting a kill for Stown. Krat 2 has flashes for mid. The first flash he stands in the mid corner, aims as shown, then left click throw. He then jumps onto the board to throw the deeper flash, aims here and left click throw. The flash blinds Config at Jen, assisting the kill for Nickelback. 
Zipex in Site B main comes back to spawn to try to trade, however he takes way too many steps back and falls off the map. Just a heads up and friendly reminder that there are gaps between some of the railings here. Zipex Molly's window as he advances up top stairs, he's going to aim here, then left click throw. Floppy smokes top yellow at the start of the round, then he follows it up with these flashes that will blind any CT's top ramp as complexity take fast ramp. If you want to see the full breakdown of this tactic, it's in my discord, video number 322. Refresh has a nade set from mid where he mollies, nades, and flashes stairs. Heroic will use this nade set to retake stairs. I have a full breakdown of this tactic on my second channel, nades out here. Astralis with a really smart setup on their eco, it involves Glaive at sandbags with a smoke while two players are boosted short, however the boosted player is ducked until Glaive smokes out the T's molly to take attention away from the boost, which is going to set up blame for the kill. Glaive flashes yellow from headshot, he's going to aim here, then he will jump throw. Blame from Ivy peeks off the flash and gets one kill, and the trade from Forcer couldn't come in because he was flash as well. Snappy from Ivy Corner throws a flash off short wall that bounces towards ramp and blinds a movie star player, setting himself up for the kill into some pious. The next trick comes from William, who shows us a ramp one way smoke thrown from the left wall. He positions with the pole, crouches, aim as shown, then left click throw the smoke, which goes under the ramp, giving you a one way smoke to work with. You can't spot the player inside the smoke, however, if the CTs were to smoke, ramp it negates the smoke. Kadian with an op will get boosted behind stairs at long. This boost here does allow you to see a little bit outside the door which Kadian with an op takes advantage of and kills Junior. This leads on to the next trick that I'm going to show here. Team Liquid will triple boost behind the stairs long with OC being on top with an op. From his position he has a good angle to see through the door where he picks off some Pius who did not see this coming. Make sure to practice this boost as you can easily slide off. Heroic played Team Liquid in EPL playoffs and they give them a taste of their own medicine with the same triple boost. Kadian gets the kill into OC here. Kadian throws an A main retake smoke from CT spawn. He positions with this wall next to the stairs, aims at this line of the brick below the plant, then jump throw. Stown throws a donut smoke to retake A site from CT spawn from the other set of stair wall, aims here, then jump throw. Extinct smokes long from cave, he stands in the middle of the doorway, aims here, then left click throw. The smoke goes through the opening. Team Liquid in a post plant and Nav with a brilliant play using Demao the diffuser as a shield forcing Henny to shoot Demao as he tries to kill Nav. Such a high IQ play from Nav. Man it feels good to be a Naffer. Nitro with an instant A main smoke thrown from CT spawn with the middle spawn. Nitro aims at this part of the plant, then run throw. I have not seen it thrown from this spawn. I have seen this smoke thrown from the two spawns to the right, which you can find on nades out here. The smoke lands and blooms before Godsand can get to main. Dumao with a shoulder peek, back of donut for mid. While he is doing so, he has his flash lineup, which will land in front of Totem. He will throw the flash when he makes contact, however, it doesn't end this round. Here's where the flash lands and will blind anyone peeking towards donut. Dave1G is going to flash lane from house. His flash will set up his teammates Cheetah to get the kill into inserts. This flash is most commonly thrown from donut tunnel, but now you know it can be done from house even if you're smoked off. Stiko is going to go through A into donut and out tunnel where he mollies lane. This molly helps secure lane control for Apex. Usually it's thrown from B site. Most of the time oppers are getting run boosted mid to window, but here Game Bear are on a force buy with Shiro having the only rifle, putting it in good use and getting run boosted to the ledge where he makes his way towards window and gets a frag onto Dave1G. He sets up his team in a favorable 5v4. Movie star riders probably weren't expecting the run boost because they know Gambit don't have an op, which catches them by surprise here. Shiro is going to self pop flash over this wall to peek back lanes from long, which blinds PTR setting himself up for the kill. To Mao showing a super easy way to smoke K for retake, get behind this wall, aim where the two walls touch, then left click throw. Tizen smokes elbow from donut tunnel, 
He stands inside the cubby to the left, aims here, then jump throw. Just from window side has a set lineup to Molly left side Cheetah when Cheetah entrance is smoked off. He aims here below this mark on the wall, then moves over to the next wall and runs forward and left click throw. At the start of the round, blame F with entry flashes for Zipex rushing up banana. He stands back wall on the stone, aims at the bottom of this thing, then jump throw. The flash blinds Tessis, assisting the kill for Zipex. As a cave player, you can support your B teammate by flashing through the roof, which just does here. Tessis smokes house from outside A main. He puts his crosshair in the corner of this building, then jump throw. He will then follow it up with mid flashes for his teammates to entry out from elbow. Glaive has a set flash from inside house at the beginning of the round to blind the T's coming out mid. I believe the T's come out before his flash lands even though he received the assist. He uses the same flash in a different round which we see it does blind Keserato. Fang throws an early smoke into elbow to put out the CT's molly, then sets up next to the wall with a flash for his teammates to entry out which blinds Furlan assisting the kill. That's the end of the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment which trick you like the most below. Make sure to follow all my socials and join my discord for exclusive content, all the links will be below. Till next time, Nard out here, peace.